It's time to get a check on the weather conditions with our Hannah Kim, who is standing by. Hello there, Hannah. Thanks, Daniel, and good evening, guys. Well, it's Friday night, and so that means our weekend just started, and many of you may be excited to hear that all the pools along the Han River just opened up today. Right, you know, every summer there is a whole lot of events, festivals, and concerts held near the Han River, right downtown Seoul, and I really love going there in the evening when temperatures really cool off a little bit. That's right, Kanye. Well, if you don't have plans this weekend, you could check out different activities like boat racing, windsurfing, or you could even just hang out by the swimming pools. There are a few around Seoul. Now, speaking of summer activities, tomorrow we'll have even hotter temperatures under partly sunny skies. Now, there may be little to no rain over the weekend, but we expect more monsoon showers early next week. If we take a closer look at tomorrow's forecast, a heat wave advisory has been issued in some regions, so please try to stay indoors during the peak hours of the sun. So we'll start off the morning at 22 and reach 34 in the afternoon. Meanwhile, cities in the south like Pegu and Busan should peak at 32 and 27 degrees respectively. Down on Jeju Island, we expect mostly cloudy skies with temperatures from 20 to 28. Tejon will hit 33 while Tokdo jumps to 24. Well, that's all I have for you today. I'm Hannah Kim. Have a wonderful evening and I'll see you back in July.